Hi, can I have a uh, grande ice cream or mascarpone? Now that I'm back in a car with cup holders, baby, a boy can go through a Starbucks again. And thank God they're still open. I love still to this day, and I know I always say this, but I mean like actually though, this is my favorite car out of all of the cars. This car makes me so happy. Driving this car here this morning, it's just a, it was a nice drive, it was super nice out. This car is just amazing, I love it so much, it makes me so happy. This will for always be my number one girl. I love this car to death, and I just had to tell you guys that because I miss this car, and it needs to get driven more, and it will. So we got a little surprise this morning that I was not expecting to get at all. We have a few more goodies coming later this week, but we're gonna start with this. I ordered a front splitter for this front bumper, and it is actually way nicer than I thought it was gonna be, and look how big it is. It's actually a true front splitter, and it goes all the way back almost three feet. A couple indents on the edge of this where I'm assuming we just will drill through this bumper and attach it to, but I am excited for this. This is gonna look really good. It's a full carbon fiber. Piece. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this is actually something that I've been missing on my car that I haven't even really realized because if you look at the underside of this front end, there's nothing here. It's just empty. So this is actually the piece that I never ended up getting, but I didn't realize it actually finished the front end. So I'm very excited to throw this on today. So before we even get started, put this car up on a lift and get to work. I didn't film it, but with the help of Mick, we were able to get this thing kind of seated, and it's kind of tough. It fits probably about 90% of the way right now, and part of it is some of the radiator brackets, intercooler brackets, rather, underneath the car are coming in contact, and it almost looks like our intercooler piping is hitting, but I think it's okay. But as you can see, it's pretty large, so the underside has some places where it's supposed to mount, and that's what we're trying to make up for right now, because right now we're coming up short, almost about an inch. It's really close, but it's just a little bit short. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this off and try to clear out some of the material on the underside of the splitter where it's hitting the intercooler bracket. I'm pretty sure that is what's causing us to come up a little bit short, or at least it's part of the reason why it's coming up a little bit short. It should fit just fine, so I'm gonna have to do some work. It does encompass the backside of the front bumper a little bit and kind of bring it all together, which is nice. This is a really cool piece. It's really gonna give the front end a little bit more of an aggressive look, and we're gonna follow through with that edge of carbon fiber all the way down the car. I'm very excited to get this together. I'm gonna interrupt today's video to let you guys in on a giveaway that we're gonna be doing with Valvoline. Valvoline is gonna send one of you guys a full fluid care package for your car, and all you have to do is be following Valvoline on Instagram and tag me on this photo on their Instagram and I'm gonna be picking one of you guys randomly to get a full fluids change for your car. That means you're gonna get Valvoline oil of your choice, you're gonna get coolant for your car, and you're also gonna get gear oil sent out as well. And all you gotta do is follow them on Instagram and tag me on this photo. And might I suggest whoever wins, I would suggest getting some VR1 oil. Take advantage of this opportunity and I wanna say thank you so much for Valvoline for making this giveaway possible. And now let's get back to today's video. These big scratches are from where our mounts are hitting. I'm gonna get a Christmas tree bit and just bore out these holes a little bit. That should give us a little bit of play. And then we'll seat this back on the car and see if it helps any bit. With those holes drilled through, it's still not sitting very flush. It's actually hitting the beams holding the intercooler in. I was just gonna cut a hole through the underside of the splitter, but Ricky and Mickey are convincing me to not do that. Mickey had an idea of just taking off the bottom of the inter intercooler supports and seeing if it sits flush. We might start there.
I'm gonna put these brackets back on because I still need to keep some sort of mounting for the intercooler. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lop this stuff off so that we at least eliminate some of the interference between the splitter and this stuff. Hopefully that's just enough clearance for it to sit nice and tight. So the plan of attack is we have the transmission mount holding the bottom side of the splitter in. And we kind of have it taped up, but there's just a big issue with like gapping around the corners here. Like it's not really lining up anywhere and we are still coming up way short underneath the car, unfortunately. We're gonna put two self toppers in the front of the splitter just to kind of keep it in place. And we're gonna use a heat gun and we're gonna try to walk it down as much as we can. And then if we have to make brackets to extend to the original threaded inserts, we might just do that. But we think what's most important is just figuring out how to get this to sit best and then worry about the backside, because this is probably the most important part of it, in my opinion. Yeah, so it brought it in a lot, but there's still, yeah, when we walk more in, we're gonna slowly close now this gap up. So what, you just heat it up, and then you just start just putting in okay, more. You see this area right here that is sticking out? We'll heat it up, and then we'll start putting pressure in it. But we'll start heating it up, that, that way it grabs the shape first, and then we'll put the screws in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mickey and Ricky. They're showing me a method that I've never done before, but it makes sense. Heating up the carbon fiber, and then once it's warm, then we're starting to drill through and insert the hardware. And then the moment we have it seated, Mickey sprayed it with water so it instantly cooled down, and we actually got rid of that bubbling effect that was happening. Went away pretty good. So I imagine if we do this enough on the sides, it should sit pretty flush. Now we just gotta work on that corner and then repeat on the other side. All right, so now I'm just walking around the side. These were the hardest too, so I had Mickey help me with that one because I physically couldn't reach the nut and do it at the same time and twist in this bolt. This one I was able to reach. Now we have two more to do. We have one right here, one right here, and the heating method works really, really well. So you can see here, we're gonna be fighting this crease right here. Once we drill this out and put some hardware through it and heat it up and then tighten it down, we should be able to close it up pretty easy. Just finished the last piece right here and it sits really well now. That trick is really, really cool. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Now all we have to do is just make some brackets or make a bracket plate underneath the car here so we can get this to sit up. I might do a little bit of trimming right here as well because this doesn't line up at all. That's the only bummer is it would've been really cool just to have that literally just bolt straight up. But unfortunately, uh, it's, not, it's not lining up on our car. I'm gonna preface this now, I am not a fabricator. I am not good at making brackets. Everything I know is extremely elementary and I'm aware of that and I'm trying to get better at that. So I've been making a bracket here that Ricky gave me the idea of how to do it and I've just been kind of plugging away at it. It's also taking me longer than it should, but like I said, I am not good at this, so I'm literally learning. I'm like in first grade when it comes to this stuff, but what I did, because all of this comes up short on, underneath the whole entire thing, it doesn't even sit straight, unfortunately. I reused two bolt holes underneath the subframe and I got this big piece of metal it looks like you're right now, but I'm not done. And I pretty much just found the holes, drilled through them, put bolts on it. And now when I push this up, I just got a drill bit and smoked a hole through the carbon fiber. So I dotted it. And at this point, it will give me a solid secure spot to mount the rest of this diffuser or splitter rather. So I'm gonna unbolt this, finish out these holes, and then just drill out the shape and make it look a little bit prettier. And at that point, it should be secure and it should be done. Looks very, very gross, but I'll make it prettier, I promise.
right boys, grand reveal. It actually doesn't look that bad. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of this. And for anyone who's gonna talk shit, fuck you, because I'm proud of it. I even put a little hole here so this drain tube still goes through, doesn't touch anything. And it's really sturdy too. That is not going anywhere. And this thing is officially complete. So we're gonna drop the car, throw the wheels on, we'll take it out, see how she looks, boys. Let's get this final look together. Oh boy! Oh man! That actually like really transforms the car. That did a lot. I'm actually impressed. I'm trying to get some sunlight in the camera so you guys can get a better view. Damn! Wow, that looks really good. That looks super good. That extra flare on the side of the lip gives it a lot of like an extra edge. I don't know, it adds a lot of the shape. When you see it in person, it looks so good. I'm gonna move this more into the sun so maybe we can get a better look at the carbon. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. You know what this front lip reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of the front end on the RX-7. The RE front bumper has like this big lip and then squishes back out to the side just like this does. And tomorrow our extra pieces should be here so we can add more to this area of the car. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but we have some extra piece coming tomorrow that's really gonna go on with these little end plates right here. It's gonna give it a really good look. Dang, dude, with the wheels and this extra front lip, it's looking spicy. Now imagine if we did like a little street hunter vent right here. I promise that's not me saying something's coming, but this is actually the first time I've actually thought about making something for this car. I haven't ever really wanted to because there's so many options for this car. I've never wanted to add to it, but now that I'm looking at it, it could use some more aero on the fenders. Now the only problem is, is I feel like now with that extra lip on the side, we might be too low again in the front where we might start scraping everywhere. I'm gonna have to drive it for a little bit and feel it out, but we'll see. But if you guys made it this far in the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I'm making videos every day, or at least trying to during this quarter team. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.